Hi everyone. Okay, so for course, uh, the first course, first week of painting flowers, uh, you were to be painting the iris, and I have a little bit of a demo here for you. And uh, today we had a live chat session, and for those of you that weren't able to join us, you didn't miss much. It was um, a lot of clicking and a lot of uh, can you hear me and, and all that. So I was able to speak to a few people personally and work through some of the bugs and some of the questions that people had. So I thought I would go ahead and start recording and taping some of the how-to. So right now, right here on my easel, I have the iris and I'm going to turn the camera to face just that and adjust it a little bit. So, um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is I noticed on some of the um, questions that people were having was um, the values, your values and how to make it all work. How do we get these dark shapes to become a whole petal and to get it to have that flow that, um, that the final piece has. Now, Generally what happens is as a, a painter, you know, we see the final piece and we see what where it's supposed to be eventually, but how do we get there? How do we how do we accomplish those wonderful um, transitions that you see in the iris? Um, right here I have the actual photograph of um, you know of the subject. And you can see there are a lot of um, dark shapes right along the edge there, and but they don't they don't jump out as much as they they do on the painting that I have here. So we think something's wrong. Well, nothing is wrong. We just haven't gotten there yet. And um, here I'm going to get you there as soon as uh, as possible. Um, okay, so here we go. I am going to talk about mixing just a little bit. So meanwhile, I'm going to move this. I'm going to bring my palette up here for you. And then, so you, I want you all to be able to see my palette. There it is. It's not much in there right now. And so I'm using a Butcher 10. It's awesome. I love it. Um, and with that being said, I am good. I can tilt it down a little bit. Um, I'm going to add. I'm going to add uh, permanent rose and phthalo blue right now. Now, some of the questions today were about just about that was about the pigments. Okay, I'm um, pigments are you know it's a personal choice for sure, um, but. Some people have Antwerp Blue, some people are trying the Permanent Alizarin Crimson, and that's fine too. Permanent Alizarin Crimson will work. Um, however, I find if I, if I mix a variety of violets that I see within the, within the iris, um, when I first started painting irises, it was, uh, I was constantly seeing a new color every time I look back on the reference photo or even at the iris itself. And that to me was like an iridescent, an iridescent, um, you know, had an iridescent look to it. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually getting a, a nice variety of, um, of color going on in my palette. And you can see if you don't mix too much if you if you let the pigment just kind of mingle you you will get you will get definitely a um, nice iridescent color that's funny okay that's how okay there it is and you can see there's a nice fun iridescent um, pattern of violets happening within my palette right okay so how do we get this to over here same way, same, same, there's just, you could use a wet into wet technique or, um, or you can uh, let the colors just mingle. Yeah, wet into wet and then let them mingle about right onto your paper. So I'm dropping in a little bit of water right now and I'm going to show you how, um, how that's going to happen, the iridescent um, look. So I'm going to take a little bit at, from my palette 
and you just take a variety of color and look at how less brush strokes are better and then you just let them naturally mingle together and um, and this is after you've gotten your darks on and you're trying to make sense of this lower petal okay and you can add 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 and um, you know glaze a little bring it down bring it down and you let the wet into wet do its thing right here it's wet on dry that I'm adding and I'll just go ahead and add that in okay and then we're gonna let that dry so less is better for this petal right now um, also I've noticed that having the white background next to these darker shapes it can be jarring also as you're looking at your um, painting don't let that fool you because once the background is put in you're going to end up having a really nice um, a nice transition also and you can always add a little bit more of the darker um, medium tones okay so if you think of your value scale 1 to 10 10 being the darkest 1 being the lightest and you're looking, what we're looking for to land next to these darkest values are, um, we're looking for a, a, a nice 9, 8, 7, 6, you know, on the value scale. We're just looking for that to add that next to it. And sometimes a, a nice big jump is good, but you don't want that jump to happen everywhere. You just want it here and there. Now here... You, on the reference photo, yes, because it's the shadow and it's underneath, and um, and you can, you know, don't hesitate to take your photo. Here's another tip: take your photo, lay it up against your painting, and 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 find that darkest value, and see if it is dark enough. Like for instance, I'm I'm comparing this with this. Okay, so that's my tip on finishing um, your dark to lights on the petals um, and just keep moving through your whole painting and then um, I'm going to finish this off camera of course and if I see something that I need to add I'll just go ahead and record it and then eventually I like to get to the background so you can have that for course um, for the second course and um, then you can finish it up because the, the background is one of those things that people do kind of get I guess I should go all the way in the camera <laughs> so you don't see half my face. But the but the background is something that you want to have um, uh, feel like you have control over. So no worries. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get a video on that. Okay. Take care. Good luck with everything.